Hey, it's Faraz from Zero Density. Today we're gonna look into how to export functions and properties right from the actor blueprint. So let's get started. Here I have already prepared a blueprint with a few component. You can see a screen and a border 3D mesh. I have already added ZD actor here. Inside the event graph, we have a very basic block of logic based on few nodes. I'm just animating my screen from the floor end up by just updating its relative location with the help of timeline. But I need an event or function to trigger it on demand in real time. For that purpose, I'm going to be using ZD function component. From the add component drop down, search for ZD function. Add member name and category name. You can call the event on this function by just right click on it or here they are in detail panel. As soon as you click on one of them, it pop up a called event node inside the graph editor. Now all you need to do is to connect the execution pin with your block of logic. In order to update any material parameter in real time, the material must be dynamic. And reality has its own component for this purpose, known as ZD update material. I have already prepared a material with a texture parameter. Just copy this name. Select the update material component and paste it right in the material parameter name. The texture property name must be user defined. You must copy the property name. Now add ZD component texture and paste it right here inside the member name field. Now I want to control the border color in real time as well. For this purpose, I am going to be using this color property of update material component. In the material, I have already converted my vector3 node into parameter. Just copy this name and in your update material component paste it right here. Now add ZD color property. And copy the property name from the material update and paste it right here. You can also set the default color. Hit compile and save. Then press the play button. Inside the R graph, you can see the blueprint node here. Select the node and you can see one function and one color property exposed here. Also, you can see a texture pin which can get any media input. Now it's time to test your exported properties and functions. 